welcome to another day of vlogmas so today we're gonna be doing like a wind down chill with this type thing so we have this game that we like to play and it's called the and so we're gonna go ahead and choose some cards from the deck and we're gonna play a short version of it we're only gonna do three correct three questions each so the video won't be too long because these are like uh, topic like what is it called conversation starter questions and then yeah we typically like get through one card and then we just be talking and laughing and playing and stuff so yeah you want to pick from the top or the bottom the bottom all right so you got one two three and I got one two three all right you want to go first uh I forgot how you play <laughs> nice. I can go first you yeah. want me to ask you first or you want me to answer first with first uh ask me first okay um what do you think excites me most about our future what i think excites you most about our future hmm i would say um just how the options are endless um like there's no limits to our future um like we've just been reaching higher heights and new levels each year that we're together, each day that we're together, it's been something new. We've been doing that. What do you think excites me the most about our future? That we're growing mentally, physically, spiritually, that we're growing to a place where where you would have wanted to have a childhood so like an example is that we're raising christopher in a two-parent household that's a functioning relationship and i think you're excited about seeing growth as it happens and where it leads i would say you're right in was i right mm -hmm. <laughs> all right so <clears throat> What do I do that makes you feel safe in our relationship? You clip my toenails. <laughs> that makes you feel safe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> this new breed of women act like they can't do that. They be like, ugh. What do you, no, what do I do that makes you feel safe in our relationship? Um, you always tell me to do it or buy it or get it, try it. Like, you always just encourage me to, um, do what I want to do, even if it's shopping. I told you a long time ago, don't unwake, don't wake the dormant beast that is my shopping addiction. And he was like, I'm not scared of that. Big facts. <laughs> And I'm afraid of it, so I haven't unleashed it completely, but I have been letting it slip out here and there, especially now since it's Christmas Eve. You get one hour. Go. I'll be back, y'all. If you had to write a rule book for our relationship, what would the number one rule be? The number one rule... Uh, the number one rule would be to um, forgive. I was going for something completely opposite. And what were you going to say? If you had to write a rule or a rule book for our relationship, what would be the number one rule? Don't play with me. <laughs> That's the first rule. <laughs> what does that mean? That mean don't play with me. Me? That's any, but that I mean that would be my life rule book. <laughs> don't but play our with relationship. Me. Your relation. This relationship is a big part of my life. Oh my gosh. So that applies. That applies with my relationship with you. That applies with my relationship with our child. 
Don't play with me. Anyway. Rule number one. I would say rule number one would be to forgive because we are growing um, so much together that we have to like let go of like past mistakes and past hurts and even like we talked about recently, like me forgiving my family for things so that you like so that I can accept the love that you have for me. Shout out to Wiley, shout out to my friend. They're my counselors. What do you think I miss the most when I'm not with you? All of me. Everything. My my mere presence. Okay. What do you think I miss the most when I'm not with you? That's how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? That's funny. What's the answer? I don't know. I never thought about that until now. <laughs> I was going to say my butt because that's what you said, like in a similar question for my bachelor party. Well, for my bridal shower. <laughs> Not what I miss. Well, you said your favorite. Yeah, feature of mine was my butt, but I don't have that anymore. So I just figured it would shift. What's the answer? To be continued. <laughs> you just threw me for a loop. I didn't know what you was gonna say. You come back, my boobs. You think when you know yes. me with you, I just be thinking about your boobs. Yeah, you be looking at my pictures. So I'm like zooming in. Oh, uh, that's what I be doing. I probably be <laughs> driving. So. <laughs> I can guarantee you I'm not zooming in on any photos. <laughs> Anyways. Your constant badgering. What? <laughs> That's what I miss the most. <laughs> I miss having you to ask the questions. Okay. <laughs> now I be asking you, so you be helping I me. I know. You be helping me think. Oh my gosh. You want to know what I miss the most when I'm not with you? What? I don't know if this really counts because it's, it's like you're not with me, but then you are with me. It's like when you sneak up on me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this answered the question. Because <laughs> you're not with me, but then you are. <laughs> so when I'm not but you with you, you be missing me not being with you than being with you. Mm -hmm. I don't really think that's a good answer. <laughs> okay, wait, I got another one. I would say like feeling safe. Like if I know you're in the vicinity, like I know I'm good, you know? I don't feel like I gotta have my guard all the way up. I can just chill. Cause I'm like, my husband is somewhere near like, if something were to pop off, I know I'm good. But when I'm out in public by myself, I'm like. <laughs> That's what you be doing? <laughs> yes. How am I most similar to you? And how does that scare you? Okay, so you're the most similar to me when it comes to like popping off but like remaining calm for the most part. And it's like, it scares me because like, for example, at Christopher's birthday party, when we was both beyond being patient and kind, it was scary because it's like, who gonna stop who from going to jail? <laughs> no, it would have been me stopping you because I really, I was chilling. I just had, I, in that moment, that person wasn't listening to you, so I had to step in. Mm -hmm. So I was chilling. Like, I, that's not me. But that person probably felt more, like, threatened. That was the point. But, like, <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like, if you're, if you were being taken as more of a threat in that moment versus me, that was my then intent. it's like... Hmm? My intent was to... To look like a threat. 
But I'm saying, like, if police were called, you know what I'm saying? Call them. Then we're both like, you know what I mean? What's the facts if we're going to call the police? Hmm. But yeah, that's the only thing. It's like, we're both like. I was to be perceived as a threat. How much of a threat could I really be? I'm holding a baby. I was holding a baby too when I was going to get with him. But it's okay. I was holding a baby. I'm holding a small child, and my child is not disturbed. But yeah, y'all saw that glass. That was not, okay? It was not a good situation, like, at all. Um, and I was chilling, so. I was not. You ain't, seen me. You ain't never seen me mad, because I don't be getting mad. I have seen you mad. When I got mad. Anyways. <laughs> That's my next question. <laughs> no. Okay, so. I didn't answer that, I don't think. Oh. <laughs> get your life. <laughs> How am I most similar to you, and how does that scare you? I don't, I don't know of many things that would scare me, so I'm gonna br brush past that portion. But how I'm similar to you, we're both very organized in our own way. Explain your way. I keep it all together. Big facts. Since we've been together, the only thing I've ever lost was an iPod. Okay, so my car is on the floor. Can I get another one? You don't know what to say? I'm talking about a dying wish. I don't know. Then just make up a question with it. Oh, it says. It's my car. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it says. <clears throat> you want another question? Because <laughs> I'm confused. Okay. It's nothing to be confused about. Alright. Why was it worth it? What? The relationship. But that said was. Okay, get another card. <laughs> like okay. <this> simple. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> What's a recent thing I've been doing that's driving you crazy? Oh my god. I'll go first. That's fine. Go ahead. Um, you keep. Right now, a recent thing is when I be suggesting stuff, I feel like you don't be listening. And you just be like, nah, that's crazy. <laughs> and then you be wanting to do it ultimately. But you just be like, are uh, you wild? Now, nah, while you tripping, but then be loving it. First of all, I don't call you Wiley. I know, but <laughs> when you do that in my head, you calling me Wiley. Anyways. What's a recent thing you've been doing that drives me crazy? I don't talk to you. <laughs> See, that's why it's rule number one. Anyway. What's a recent <laughs> thing that I've been doing that drives you crazy? The seat in the truck. Oh, my gosh. But that's both ways. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Because when I... I no. Can, nah, because no. I... No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Listen. That's I both know. ways. You adjust no. the seat how you like it. When you adjust in the seat, you're not taking me into consideration at all. It's all Ebony is driving. Did you not buy the car for me? Did, do I got to <laughs> drive it or no? Listen. Do I drive it? Or, you do it. You Did do you it buy in, that car for me for my birthday? Do you do it in my car? So? All right, so so if you can say so, go ahead, continue. Okay, no, listen. Go ahead and continue. No, no, no. Let go me ahead. tell you. No, 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 no. no. This is why it drives mm -hmm. me crazy. Mm -hmm. Our height difference is not that much. Fam, you be driving like, <laughs> you be moving the steering wheel down. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I, have, I don't when know I move, I move the if I wheel. If I move the steering wheel to where I wanted it, you move it back. I don't so instead, I height. just move the seat. In your car or in both? In both. Because I don't even know how to, I don't know how to move you this. You did move it. You know how I know you moved it? Because I moved it and you moved it back. <laughs> <laughs> but continue. Go ahead. Our height difference is not 
that drastic for how you move the seat. You be trying you, to sit under the car. You be trying to sit in the back seat, in the trunk. You be trying to lay down. Like, we not that stand up. No. Just, <laughs> but we are not that different in height to where Baby, the seat got to be so you sit way drastic. Too high. You sit way too high in the car. You be in, you be in the steering wheel. No, no. Yes, you do. You can't do nothing in your lap while you're driving. Yes, I can. What? Eat. How? Not not nothing in your lap. Yes, I can. No, you don't. Yes. You never done it. You never. You never done it. Anyway. Because you be on the steering wheel. You be honking all the time. They be like, what I'm doing wrong? Look at you thinking about my boobs. <laughs> anyway. Can't help it when they just all in the steering wheel. Why you <laughs> You be in the steering wheel. Whatever, bro. It's like you be trying to look at the whole hood of the car while you're driving. I do. Exactly. So you be sitting way too high. Whenever you drive and I get in the car, I hit my leg, my head, my arm. I can't get in. When I try to get in, I'll be like, oh, psych, adjust. Because you be all the way in that jump. That's why I was saying. The button was almost a deal breaker. For the seat pre-settings, that was almost a deal breaker. But I had a dream about that truck, so I knew that was the one. Christopher is out with his grandparents, so he out living life without us. All right, guys, thanks for chilling with us on this little chill evening. Um, we hope that you enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments if you'd like for us to answer some more of these questions. Um, they're really fun. We really enjoy them. Um, oh, like this video, comment, subscribe. We're almost done with vlogging. Praise God. We'll see you guys tomorrow.